this is phase two results, an interim look at this study that Lily's been running uh, on this monoclonal antibody drug to treat COVID-19 uh, in people with mild to moderate recently diagnosed COVID-19 uh, who haven't been hospitalized. So in the outpatient setting, about 450 people included in this trial. Now, Lily is saying it shows uh, signs that this drug may work for COVID-19, but the data are a bit mixed. So the primary goal here of the trial uh, was to look at three different doses of this antibody against placebo and after 11 days to see if it reduced the viral load in these patients. And what they found is that the middle dose reduced the viral load versus placebo. The others didn't. Uh, guys, part of that might be that time point because they did find that most patients, including those on placebo, uh, did clear the virus by day 11. So it just shows in mild to moderate patients, people are getting better. Uh, one thing they did note is that uh, people on the drug cleared the virus earlier uh, by day three, uh, and it reduced the number of patients with high viral load at later time points. They also say that fewer patients on the drug, went to the hospital or the ER, although these are small numbers, at 1.7% on drug versus 6% on the placebo. And they noted that most of the people who had to go to the hospital had underlying risk factors like age or higher BMI. So they suggest that this could have more of a benefit for those patients. Um, but they do say that they saw potential rapid improvement in symptoms for patients on the drug, supporting that um, effect on hospitalization. On safety, they say it is well tolerated. There were no serious side effects reported. Um, Lilly's chief scientific officer saying, quote, that these interim data suggest the drug uh, has a direct antiviral effect and may reduce COVID-related hospitalizations. He says the results reinforce our conviction that neutralizing antibodies can help in the fight against COVID-19. Guys, the company says it's going to talk with regulators about potential next steps. They are running more studies, um, but they also say that includes the potential to file for an emergency use authorization based on these data if the regulator suggests they are strong enough. So this is incredibly fast moving uh, for Eli Lilly. And remember guys, others are in this fight, including Regeneron. We're expecting data from them potentially soon as well. Right. And, and, you know, the Monday news, so that, that's that's a different drug. It has to do with, uh, you know, I think immune responses that was already in development in the pipeline. And, and that's that's different than this. They must have, you know, we sequenced COVID. Uh, we, we looked at, uh, at at this novel uh, coronavirus and they that's when they must have started doing this. So that's pretty recent. Did they you what, what are they using to base the, the monoclonal on what antigen? Is it that spike protein, do you know, Meg, or is it just the virus uh, as, as a whole for the monoclonal? Yes. It, yep. It's an antibody targeting the virus's spike protein, and it was actually isolated from one of the first people in North America to recover from COVID-19. Uh, so this is work that began very early and advanced very quickly. Uh, and it's a program, a, a way of discovering new drugs for the coronavirus that a number of companies have undertaken. And so these are moving fast.